Before we get into the composition of nanoemulsions, what exactly are they? Uh, we need to quickly talk about what a surfactant is. It's going to be the only kind of sciencey thing here, and I'm not going to get too deep into it. But the point is uh, that if you if you take a water soluble molecule and fuse it to an oil soluble molecule, so in this case you have this entity in the circle that's a uh, a part of the molecule that would dissolve in water. The tail end, the oil-soluble part, that's just a fatty acid tail. So the head likes to dissolve in water, but not the oil. The tail is exactly the opposite, likes to dissolve in oil, not in water. We're going to label it like this schematically. And then if you have an oil and water mixed together, obviously, no matter how vigorously you mix oil and water together, once you stop doing that, they will separate into layers because water likes other water molecules, oil likes other oil molecules, and so they kind of hang out with their own, and oil is lighter than water, and so it just flows to the top. If you put surfactants into this thing, then they will arrange themselves spontaneously this way, with the heads into the water and with the tails into the oil. And the point is that once you look at this situation from the water's perspective, you see friendly tails something that likes to dissolve in water. So water is happy. You look from the oil's perspective, it's oil-compatible tails. Uh, so suddenly the hostility is gone. It's, it's, uh, they, they get along better, if you will. So, so once you have this capability to relax this interface, to make the, the situation more compatible, you can now start making oils compatible with water, in this industry, it's typical to say that oils become water-soluble. Very technically speaking, they're not soluble, but they behave as if they were. And I will show you that for all intents and purposes, what they become is good enough to make beverages. They become close to being true solutions, even if they're technically not.